I feel like whenever I'm on a date, I'm all, I'm always like having like the sense of like I'm a man in the situation. I had flowers, specifically her favorite flowers, waiting for us at dinner. Aww. The entire collage. You know what I mean? I didn't just go through every single pick and just started liking it immediately. <laughs> and beat you and they're creating coverages for you and now all of a sudden you're seeing they're gonna have to reinvent themselves a little love bites fans of both taylor swift and travis kelsey think they saw a hickey on the Chiefs' star's neck at a recent game in recent months the couple's friendship has been all over the news with the pop star going to many of his chiefs games as a thank you kelsey went to buenos aires during his bye week to see swift perform one of her hits eras tour shows some fans think they saw a bump on Kelsey's neck during the Chiefs game against the Patriots earlier this month. There is a red mark on his neck that can be seen clearly in photos and videos. Swift went to that game at Gillette Stadium and sat with her dad Scott and a new friend named Brittany Mahomes. Travis had a hickey left on him by Taylor, one fan wrote on X, which used to be Twitter. Queen, someone else wrote, wait Taylor, give Travis a hickey. Um, I'll let you figure it out when it comes out, for sure, because, I mean, like... We represent each other, so it's something that whenever I'm not around you, I need you to still represent me. I feel like whenever I'm on a date, I'm, all, I'm always, like, having, like, the sense of, like, I'm a man in the situation. It was kind of over the course of, you know, a month span, just following her and liking the pictures that she was posting. Trying to take it outside, cutting back, and there he goes for the first down. Damn white. The latest status is I got to see her last week. That's the latest status right there. I've stopped the whole, like, man, people are saying things that aren't true again. It's just kind of like, <laughs> oh, people are saying things that aren't true again. It did look like he had a hickey right there on his neck, joked sports TV host Pat McAfee on his show on Wednesday morning. I thought he and Taylor were just having fun because of that, taking necks. Then McAfee and his co-workers laughed as they thought one of them said, get his pulse sucked on, if you will. The couple is currently spending the holidays together. Swift was at Arrowhead Stadium on Christmas Day to see Kelsey and the Chiefs lose to the Raiders. She might also be in the stands on New Year's Eve to watch him play against the Cincinnati Bengals. On Christmas Day, Kelsey and the Chiefs had another tough game against the Raiders. At one point, Kelsey lost it and lost control. The tight end threw his hat to the ground where it bounced and went flying into the stands. And he got angry with coach Andy Reid. Reed ran into Kelsey and tried to calm him down. Kelsey admitted that his actions were not good for the team when he talked about the situation on the most recent episode of New Heights with his brother Jason. I love him because he looks out for me, Kelsey said of Coach Reed. I didn't play well when I went back out there. Can't catch a rhythm, uh, and it's not just it's not just the Raiders. It's been uh, it's been a lot of teams that we've played uh, just trying to catch a rhythm and trying to beat you, and they're creating coverages for you and. Now all of a sudden you're seeing they're going to have to reinvent themselves a little. Um, I'm going to keep my personal relationship personal. He wanted to see the fire in me and I, I reacted in a bad way. He wanted to just get the best out of me. I'll send someone down for you. Hi, thank you. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care that you have tattoos. I don't care that you have a, a gap between your teeth. Like, I love you. Magical things could happen. Yeah. They were electric in this. I really just am so proud of those performances. The hardest thing is that, like, you know, you can't make a mistake or do one thing without it getting turned into a million other things. I mean, yeah, I feel well, like... Well, that was Santa. It was Santa to all you guys. Santa, 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 Santa Claus. That was a full commit. Your love life is being talked about by the whole entire world right now. If you would like to expand upon anything, <laughs> please, we would like to know. He wanted to see how angry I was, and I got angry back. It's just not my best football game right now, but he expected the best from me. I need to fucking lock the fuck in and take more responsibility for him and my friends. Man, I need to keep my cool because that's not how you change the momentum of this team as a leader. The Chiefs were booed off the field at halftime, and it was anything but a Merry Christmas for the loud home fans at Arrowhead. It was one of their worst games under Patrick Mahomes, and they missed a chance to win the AFC West for the eighth year in a row. Taylor might appear on Travis's podcast. 
Since Travis Kelsey began dating pop singer Taylor Swift, his podcast has become one of the most successful in the world. This is especially true since the beginning of their relationship. Due to the fact that people are interested in learning more about his life with the artist, the podcast titled New Heights has risen to the very top of the list of the most streamed podcasts across all platforms. People are already beginning to speculate on whether or not Taylor Swift will be a part of this surprise episode, despite the fact that the brothers did not officially announce that she would participate. Both Travis and Jason Kelsey have made the announcement that they will be producing a special episode of The Kelsey Family that will be released on Friday. There is a good chance that Mama Kelsey, Papa Kelsey, and Jason Kelsey's children will make special appearances at this event. The question of whether or not Taylor Swift will appear in this special episode of New Heights has not yet been answered through official confirmation. Guy that, that nobody thought I should be with, and so I wrote this song specifically just to play it for him. The entire collage, you know what I mean? I mm -hmm. didn't just go through every single pick and just started liking it immediately. Here it goes. Kelsey's still rumbling down to about the 22 yard line. He got a nice block from the. Do you say that you're a hopeless romantic? I'd say that I say that I am sort of a hopeless romantic. Something that started out as a really hard thing I went through. The fans are the people who turned it into something very empowering. Of my own. Do you feel like you're like a security guard when you're with Taylor? Yeah, I'm part Do you of the team. Like Travis Kelsey did mention that it was a Kelsey family year-end holiday spectacular, but Taylor Swift is not exactly a part of the Kelsey family at this point. Swifties, on the other hand continue to harbor the dream that Taylor can be the most unexpected visitor this holiday special might have. According to all appearances, the pair appears to be making significant progress towards something that is more stable. Fans of Taylor Swift were eager to speculate about the various ways in which their idol could somehow make an appearance on this special episode. On the other hand, until it gets dropped, we won't know anything for sure. The following is the manner in which Travis Kelsey revealed the news on the most recent episode of New Heights. We have a guest episode coming up for you 92 percenters who have been so loyal and tuned in every single week and for those of you who are such fans of the Kelsey household. We have a Kelsey family year-end holiday spectacular for you. This Friday it will be released. The members of the Kelsey family will be coming through to talk to one another in a revolving door fashion. This coming Friday we are looking forward to sharing it with you. We haven't even recorded it yet, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun, as it frequently is. Things getting serious. Scott and Andrea Swift, parents of Taylor Swift, were seen hanging out with Ed Kelsey, dad of Travis Kelsey, at the Kansas City Chiefs game against the Las Vegas Raiders. A Chiefs fan shared a picture of the four of them talking in the NFL star suite before the game, even though the Kansas City team lost. Ed, who was wearing a Kelsey jersey, stood with his back to the camera in the picture. Scott and Andrea looked like they were fully involved in the talk. At the same time, the 34-year-old pop star was seen drinking while watching Kelsey's father. Taylor and her mom both wore fun Santa hats, and Scott wore a black and red puffer coat to support the home team. Swift brought her parents to the Christmas Day game in support of her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. Her brother Austin was also there. Additionally, Austin wasn't in the picture, but he stood out on the jumbotron dressed as Santa Claus. Donna Kelsey, Travis Kelsey's mom, was in Philadelphia supporting her son Jason Kelsey, who plays for the Eagles and had a game on Christmas Day. She wasn't able to join the family getting together. It looked like this was the first time the parents of the lovebirds had met, but it looks like Swift has spent a lot of time with the Kelseys since she started dating Travis in the summer. Um, I plan on doing something. Uh, haven't figured out where we'll be yet. Ah, uh, okay. I guess what I'm trying to say is you're making me feel like I'm the man. Some, some ladies that'll just, you'll see it and it's just like, it's almost every single day, just a different note or a different. I write about my life and, and there are people that come into my life and <laughs> exit my life and. <laughs> Okay, 
as you get older, it's so much harder to fall in love. It really is. Really? Yeah. Or just like meet good people. Really, I just wanted to think about what could I do over the course of one week that would make them as happy. Show me that love is one. Of, love is the great unknown. Mm -hmm. It's like, and that's why I write songs about it. There are many times when the anti-hero singer joined Ed and Donna in the stands, which made a good effect on them. Ed Kelsey says that when he met Taylor for the first time at a Kansas City Chiefs game in October, he was blown away by how nice and down to earth she was that she wasn't acting like a diva and helped clean up after the game, he called her a very, very sweet, very charming, down-to-earth young woman. Like Donna Kelsey said, Travis has been happier than she has seen him in a long time since he started dating Taylor. It was said that the star was a very, very nice person. Uh, I heard that you Instagram stalked her and then she DM'd you. That's exactly what very happened. Very strategic. Yeah. You know, it's really morphed into something that I could have never Ever expected. I had flowers, specifically her favorite flowers, waiting for us at dinner. Aww. I think it's right now. It's like uh, it's like that old uh, game in school called telephone, where everybody's just whispering in each other's ear. Just you just treat everybody with respect and kindness, and they return it to me. So it's really kind of neat. And um, every single day, we're going in here fixing it. I promise you guys. Uh, and it's not just one guy. Do you say that you fall in love easily or out of love easily? Yeah, both. Both? Um, yeah, I'm really young. While Kelsey may not have known Taylor's mother for a long time, he met Scott for the first time in November when he went to Argentina for an Eras tour stop. The two guys met at dinner and went to the concert together the next night. Scott was seen filming Kelsey and wearing a Chiefs badge with pride, which showed that he liked the couple. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.